Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at why you might get the spill error when using the VLOOKUP function. You're going to get the spill error in Excel 365 if you do your VLOOKUP in a particular way. So your lookup value, what you would be doing to get the spill error is selecting the whole column that contains your lookup values, comma, and then you might say for your table array, these two columns. So again, you're selecting those two columns. Column index number will be two because I'm returning the values from the second column. Range lookup, false or zero. So I'll put a zero in for exact match. And I press enter and you get this message. The formula you have entered may spill beyond the edges of the worksheet. Would you like to use the following formula instead? And the only difference is this at symbol that Microsoft are recommending before the column reference for your lookup value. But if I go for no, I just get the spill error. Now the spill error basically means that the formula is trying to return multiple results and it doesn't have room for those results. And the reason why it doesn't have room for those results is because we created the formula in row four and we expected it to return results for all of the rows in our worksheet because we selected the whole of column C. If I had a different layout, it's not gonna have that problem because I'm creating the formula in row one. So again, if I say my lookup values in column C, my table array is over here, column index number is two, and I'm doing an exact match. I don't get that problem because I've created the formula in row one, so it has room to copy all the results down into surrounding cells. Now obviously it's gonna continue that right down to the bottom of the worksheet. And the NAs basically means it hasn't found a blank value in our table. Now I'm not saying that this is the solution, I'm just showing you this to help you understand why you're getting that spill error. If I put a value anywhere here, then I get the spill error because there isn't room for this formula to spill all of its results into surrounding cells. So what do you do to solve this problem? Well, one option you can do is to use that at symbol in front of your lookup value range. And that at symbol is saying to Excel that you want to use an implicit intersection now an implicit intersection basically collapses multiple results down to one result and it will do it for the row that you're currently in. So in other words, it's only going to return the result for the row that the formula is in. So then I can copy that down. So this formula will no longer produce an array of results because we're using this implicit intersection character it will only produce a result for the row that the formula is currently in. Now, there are some other ways around the problem if you don't want to use that at symbol. One option would be to just select the cells that you want to look up rather than the whole column. Over here, you can select the entire columns, so that's fine. Call index numbers two, range lookup would be zero. Now, if you don't want to use a spilled array formula at all, then just refer to one lookup value. So C4, and then copy it down and it will work for you. So the discounted total, if you are wondering how to calculate that would be unit price times quantity times open bracket one minus the discount. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.